Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough, indeed, to be doing it too. I'm oh, still too good. Indeed, still too good. There you go. There's Bushka getting smashed from the side by a T92E1. I'm um, like, okay, well, I think there's Sheridan. He was over there. Surely I'm safe. You won't hit that shot again. And he hits it again, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I shouldn't have given him that shot. Actually, I think that could be the both of them out there looking at the minimap. And this is what the video is about. I want to talk a little bit about the tank that you can see on my left here, the T92E1. I think it could be pound for pound the strongest uh, tech tree tank in the game right now. It's incredible to think that this tank comes up against tier 8s and tier 10s and handles them both equally with aplomb. You can see in this game, our T92E1 is actually going to do about 2k damage. He does nothing in terms of spotting the enemy. And we get killed basically because... It's not really his fault. They have two light tanks, and we had one light tank. And their light tanks are a 92E1 and a Sheridan, and he's all on his own and didn't get any support. So what's he going to do? Go out there against two of them and get wrecked? Or is he just going to stay in spawn and role play a TD, which is what a lot of these light tanks do? And they are so influential on the game at the moment. And I wanted to go and play a lot more tier 10 because I've been playing a lot of tier 7. Black Princes, Tiger Ones, uh, trying a lot of old tanks and actually enjoying myself tremendously. I played a lot of stubborn Emmels. Um, the Emmel for me is amazing. I mean, I played uh, all kinds of things. And when I've been playing tier 10, I've been playing very strong tier 10s, like FV4005. I've got played that yesterday, 2800 average damage in that, like in eight games. It's a great tank. T57 heavy tank, 2,800 average damage in, in a couple of games of that. The mouse, 2,450 average damage and, and a 62.5% win rate playing solo at tier 10. I mean, these are the kind of things. They're all about that. Some better, some worse. The Jaegeru winning all its games, really. It's like... But it's frustrating because the biggest factor I've found, which is crazy, is... Like the most, if you get games where you have one heavy versus two heavies, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. If you get games where you have three TDs versus two TDs or one TD versus two TDs, it doesn't really matter. If you get games where you have two, like Sheridan T92E1 style tanks versus one, it's crazy bad for your team. <laughs> it's so, so bad because they are basically little TDs. They're little TDs that just scoot around the map and use APCR. Now this, this is, I mean, look at this. I'm getting hit with HE there. I can't see this guy. They're not spotted. Been spotted uh, twice the entire game up until now. Like, and there's two of them, once each, right near the cap circle. That's it. And they just, they just sit out there and they're angry at our light tank, but you can't blame our light for not, I mean, he's not had a great game, but he was up against two of them at once. And it's like, if you can't, you can't control the flank against these things. It's a mobile TD. Anyway, I'm going to show you a game I had in a T92E1. And it's it's been really disappointing for me. This guy has just basically sat on the flanks and not been spotted and, and destroyed. Like, this is the game. Look, look at this. Their E1 and their Sheridan has done 7K between the two of them. And they literally just sat there being TDs on the flanks because they go 70 kilometers an hour and they have APCR. This is why I want to show you this game now. So the E1 does it very well at tier 10. It does it ridiculously well at tier eight. Uh, and I actually lost the footage because I've been playing a fair bit and I only have 50 replays saved and it's, it pushed the mouse replay of me getting penned by a T92E1 at 200 meters uh, across the map on vineyards from the A cap when I was, I was um, like down back near the town side scraping and he actually went through the top deck of my mouse for 500 and it's just i just i nearly threw the ipad through the freaking wall i was that close to just being like that that kid on a meme smashing his computer and chucking it out the desk so then i went and this is the only game i played all week in this tank and i stopped playing them because the, the 92e one i did not give it enough credit there's a few things going on here that are crazy 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 with this tank one is apcr you're going to see a t49 running around the 49 fires heat heat is not easy to get to sit on, say, that IS-3 there, or the shots you see me hitting on a T-34 with an APCR round, like this uh, T-54 coming up, I can just go straight through the side of the tank where the tracks are. It's not hard. 
uh, the APCR round will let me do that. If I'm firing heat there, there is every chance that it gets stuck in the tracks. Um, this is what happens. And the 92E1 has good pen. It's still a really freaking good tank, like ridiculously good. And if you look at the Alpha, 560 Alpha on the APCR gun allows you to walk around and quite often roll for 600 and yet still have all this mobility, a turret, gun depression, camouflage. It's such an easy tank to drive. Like, I, I, honest to God, I'm running around on North America with 2,500 average damage in this, and I know the really good players have got, like, 3K, and it's just absolutely crackers how good they are with this thing. And it plays against tier 8s. Like, you're seeing tier 8s. I, I really didn't give it enough credit when it first came out because I thought they'd just really made a T49 that was an up to you. But it's not. It's It feels just better mobility-wise. Like these shots into the side of an IS-3 Defender where he's got spaced armor and tracks and I don't even blink. I just make the shot because all I have to worry about with APCR is do I have the pen? If the box is ticked, yes. Like that shot, straight into the tracks. They're really easy shots to make. The Sheridan is is a great tank. Like, I really like the Sheridan. But the Sheridan doesn't get to feast on this stuff. This is just absolutely mad. Um, <laughs> just 719 HE damage. And then chase him around. Because I can do that. I'm a little water bug. Like, I can move quick enough to catch anyone. It's it's amazing. This, this tank is truly amazing. And I missed my shot here. Like, and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to take that. Because... I got plenty of time left on the clock. I can just go up here and uh, down here and I'm just going to take a shot because I'm quick and I've got APCR and it flies nice and fast. I'll take this shot. This is the first game and the only game I've played all week. It feels dirty to play this tank. It is stupidly good. It still goes through the front of heavies with heat. Um, like, it's... Here, here we come. And to finish it, let's just have a... I don't care what your armor profile's like missile. <laughs> Okay. I hope you guys are having a good time. Love your work. I don't know what to do about that tank. Look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.